Hi guys, Marcus here and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update March 5th, 2020 edition. Make sure to watch till the end before your convenience, I do a recap of all the dramas with premiere dates. In this edition, more on Xiao Zhan and the archive of our own controversy. But first, here are some dramas that have premiered or are slated to premiere in March. Danger of Her is an upcoming modern drama starring Ma Qiuzi and Ma Ge, and it premiered on March 2nd. It follows four women as they seek revenge against their violent husbands and cheating boyfriends. Sounds like a Chinese adaptation of the British drama series Mistresses. Danger of Her is available on the iQiyi app with English subs. Wu Sing the Monster Killer 3 is a fantasy drama starring Elvis Han and Sabrina Yao, and it premiered on March 3rd. It is a prequel to Wu Xing Season 1, where Elvis Han's character, Wu Xing, meets Sabrina Yao's character, Yue Qi Luo, prior to reincarnation. The drama premiered on iQiyi. I checked out the iQiyi app, but at the moment, it's not there, so those of you who want to watch it with English subs might have to wait a little longer. Love and the Emperor is an upcoming costume drama starring Camille Hua and Ellen Luo, and it premiered on March 4th. Camille Hua stars as a virtual reality game tester who finds herself transported into her game and becomes an unfavored palace maid. Alan Luo stars as the dashing young emperor she serves and falls in love with. It premiered on Mango TV which has a channel on YouTube. No English subs at the moment though. So those were dramas that have premiered recently. Here now are some that are confirmed or rumored to premiere in March. Reborn is an upcoming modern drama starring Zhang Yi and Zhao Ziqi, and it's confirmed to premiere on March 7th. The drama tells the story of a gun incident's sole survivor, who's lost his memory but seeks to find out the truth about the incident. This cops and robbers suspense drama will premiere on Yuku. From my observation, Yuku is notorious for not licensing to other platforms that might provide English subs, so it might be a while before English subs become available. The Controllers is an upcoming modern drama starring Elvira Chai and Liu Kai, and it is rumored to premiere on March 18th. Elvira Chai plays a talented economics lecturer who is forced to work in a corrupt organization. Liu Kai plays a police informant who discovers that the organization is laundering money through foreign bank accounts. If you're like me and like corporate espionage themes, then this drama might be for you. It'll be available on Mango TV. Skate Into Love is an upcoming youth romance drama starring Janice Wu and Steven Zhang, and it's rumored to premiere on March 19th. The drama tells the story of an aspiring speed skater played by Janice Wu, who ends up being the assistant to an ice hockey legend played by Steven Zhang. They recently posted a music video on their Weibo page, and usually that's a very good sign that they will premiere soon. When they do, it will be on Yuku. The Imperfect Woman is an upcoming modern drama starring Zhou Xun and Kara Hui, and it's rumored to premiere on March 19th. The drama tells the story of an elementary school teacher who realizes that one of her students is being abused by her mother. The Imperfect Woman is based on the 2010 Japanese drama Mother. Now I haven't seen Mother, but it has been adapted into Korean and Thai dramas, so there must be something about it that's captivating audiences. The Imperfect Woman will premiere on Tencent, which means there's a good chance it'll be on Wii TV. And finally, If Time Flows Back is an upcoming modern drama starring Jing Dong and Ru Lu Jiang, and it's rumored to premiere on March 20th. The drama follows three men with failed marriages as they go to the same city to start a journey of healing. I'm a fan of Jing Dong's work and I like watching him in modern dramas like this, so I'm looking forward to this one. It'll be available across the board on iQiyi, Tencent, Yuku, and Mango TV. So I want to follow up on a piece I did in my last video regarding Xiao Zhan and the archive of our own controversy. If you haven't seen my last video, I'll leave a card of it up here if you want to visit it, or you can wait till the end of this video and I'll leave a link there too. In it, I talk about what archive of our own is and generally explain what happened and how Xiao Zhan was affected. In this segment, I want to share with you guys what else I've learned about the issue in the past couple of days. Now I'll describe a little bit the fanfiction piece that seemingly sparked the 
this whole thing. It's not a graphic or explicit description, but just a heads up, some might find it offensive, so just be aware. On February 24th, a writer on Archive of Our Own, or AO3 for short, posted a link on Weibo to the latest update of her fanfic. Her piece was entitled Xia Zui and featured Xiao Zhan and Wang Yibo. Xiao Zhan is portrayed as a male who dresses up as a female prostitute. The character has gender dysphoria, meaning he identifies as a female. This is the artwork depicting the characters from Xia Zui. Wang Yibo's character is a high school student who falls in love with Xiao Zhan's character. So we all know what happened next. A section of Xiao Zhan's fans found it offensive and reported it to Chinese censorship authorities. A few days later, the government completely blocked access to AO3. They also removed videos and censored Lofter, a Chinese fanfic app, and Bilibili, a Chinese video streaming site. Now some have said that that's just the government doing what they do, that they're constantly banning and censoring stuff they label as offensive, and it has nothing to do with the reporting. Personally, I feel that the timing is a bit too coincidental, but my speculation is as good as anyone's. Anyway, the ridiculous part about this, although I'm not surprised to hear it, is that some people who were outraged at the AO3 ban blamed Xiao Zhan for it, saying that he did not guide his fans properly. They started attacking Xiao Zhan on Weibo and left bad reviews on his dramas on Douban. They also left comments on the accounts of brands he endorses, saying they will not buy any of his products. Just venting their anger by bashing Xiao Zhan, which makes no sense if you ask me. I mean, last I checked, Xiao Zhan is not some cult leader. He's not a village chief. He did not ask for anyone to do anything on his behalf. On the flip side, Xiao Zhan's international fans have shown support for him. They started hashtag we love you Xiao Zhan, which trended on Twitter worldwide. And to close up this segment, I just want to reiterate what I said in my last video about some other fans of fan fiction who, instead of reacting by bashing Xiao Zhan, resorted to another extreme measure which is hurting themselves. I sincerely hope they get all the medical and emotional help they need. And I'm not judging them. People have different issues or are in different places in their lives. It's just unfortunate that it's come to this for some. And before I let you guys go, here's a recap of the aforementioned March dramas. Danger of Her premiered on March 2nd. Wu Xing the Monster Killer 3 premiered on March 3rd. Love and the Emperor premiered on March 4th. Reborn is confirmed to premiere on March 7th. The Controllers is rumored to premiere on March 18th. Skate into Love is rumored to premiere on March 19th. The Imperfect Woman is rumored to premiere on March 19th. And If Time Flows Back is rumored to premiere on March 20th. Keep in mind that more dramas will be added to the list, so stay tuned as I continue to update in upcoming episodes. In fact, I've read that Yang Mi's Storm Eye might be gracing streaming sites this month. We'll see if that materializes. And that's it for this edition, guys. This show would not be possible without your support, whether it's through Patreon or simply by watching, liking, and subscribing. So thank you all for watching, and as always, I wish you clear blue skies, good health, and happiness. Until next time, cheers!